hi lovely people for you are to here welcome back to my channel if you are new here i am a youtuber based in accra ghana if you are an old subscriber thank you so much for the support do well to join this family by subscribing to this channel and sharing my videos with friends and family Alright guys, as the title of this video suggests, today I'm going to share with you 10 reasons why you need to visit Ghana. Ghana, my motherland. So if you are not aware, His Excellency Nana Ekufo Adon, the President of Ghana, on Sunday the 13th of August, announced that the International Airport, that is Kotoka International Airport, to reopen and resume its operations on the 5th of September 2020. However, he stated some protocols that need to be followed and adhered to, strictly adhered to. So, let me read. And I read, any passenger arriving in Ghana must be in the possession of a negative COVID-19 PCR test result from an accreditable laboratory in the country of origin. This test should have been done not more than 72 hours before the scheduled departure from the country of origin and shown to the airline during pre-boarding formalities. Two, the passenger disembarking from the aircraft must continue to wear their facial mask. Three, Passengers will undergo a mandatory COVID-19 test at the airport terminal as a fee of equivalent of 150, 150 US dollars to be borne by the passenger. The results or the test results, sorry, will be available within 30 minutes. Um, I'm laughing because there's a whole wahala behind this particular protocol okay a lot of people are complaining they feel like 150 dollars is too much number four children under the ages of five will not be required to undergo testing at the airport passengers who test with all come out positive for covid 19 will be handled by the health authorities for further clinical assessment and management and the last one, passengers who test results come out as negative can thereupon enter Ghana to go about their lawful activities. They are advised to continue to observe COVID-19 safety protocols. They are advised to continue to observe COVID-19 safety precautions during their stay in Ghana. So there you have it. Once you've been able to go through this successfully, you can enjoy your stay in Ghana. So without wasting much time, let's get into the real deal. Let's get down to business. The reason why we are watching this video. Number one on my list is the hospitality. Anybody that has ever been to Ghana, anybody that has ever visited this country always talked about how hospitable the people of Ghana are. Always willing and ready to help. Always feel free to ask for directions, to search for people's opinion when you're in Ghana. They will always, always help you. I don't think you can get to lost or stranded in Ghana. I doubt. At worst, just look for a religious body, maybe a Christian, a Christian church or a mosque or even a traditional chief or king's palace or a police station and you'll be sorted out. Number two, Ghana is a very peaceful country. Okay, ever since I became a Ghanaian by birth anyway, <laughs> I've never had to question the security of this country or my safety. Ghana is perhaps the only African country with a long, stable democracy and healthy economy. Your safety in this country is 100% assured. Number three on my list is cultural diversity. Ghana has a vast of tribes, including popular ones like the Akan, the Gas, and the Airways. 
these tribes always perform numerous of activities including festivals throughout the year. So if you are very much interested in tradition and rich culture, then Ghana is the place for you, no doubt. So very colorful, very lovely with their attires, their music, their dances, some art. You definitely love it. Number four on my list is the coastline. Are you aware Ghana shares the border with the Gulf of Guinea? Yes. If you are a beach lover, come along with some bikinis because Ghana will treat you to some amazing beaches, okay? From Greater Accra region to the Central region to the Western region, Volta region, all these regions are along the coast and you can find amazing beaches and resorts along the coast. Number five on my list is historical sites. Are you interested in history, slave trade, how Africans were shipped off to foreign lands? Ghana has a lot of forts, a lot of castles. We also have a lot of tourist attraction sites, the Kakum National Park, like the Mole Park, Larabanga Mosque, which is a Masi by the way. And we also have the castles, the Elmina Castle, we have the Kekos Castle, we also have the Christian Borg Castle. These are a few and are directly related to slave trade or the slave history. And so if you are someone that is so much interested in African history, okay, slave trade, slave history, then Ghana is definitely the place for you. Moving on, number six on my list is the music. We are the originators of high life and hip life music. Music is very much a part of Ghanaian culture. Ghanaians love to dance and they never lose any opportunity to dance or play music. Every opportunity is an excuse for Ghanaians to celebrate music and dance. We have some amazing artists here in Ghana with very, very interesting Afrobeat music that will keep you on. Number seven on my list is tropical paradise and wildlife. Ghana is the home of spectacular parks such as the Moli National Park and the Kakum National Park, which is the home of wildlife and exotic birds. There's also the butterfly sanctuary of Obiri, the monkey sanctuary of Kafi Atome, and the hippopotamus sanctuary. Again, we can talk of waterfalls. We have the Boti waterfall and the rolling mountains. There's also magnificent landscape for hiking. Number eight on my list is artisans and craftsmen. Ever heard of the Kinte Club? Ring the bell, right? From the Kente rivers of Bumwe in Kumase to the Gonja Clock of the North, and the beautiful Ankara fashion cloth made in a wide variety. The cloth plays a major role in Ghanaian life. We can also talk about street art, authentic African pieces for decor purposes. Even the symbols of Ghana, like the Jinkra symbols, and we have a whole center dedicated for that. That is the Accra Art Center. If you visit Ghana and you do not go to this place, you didn't come to Ghana. There is a variety of art pieces, very intriguing and interesting art pieces you can purchase or find at the art center. I cannot stress on it enough. I cannot talk about it enough. You just need to come and see it for yourself. Authentic Ghanaian art. We can also talk about our drums and of course our coffins. Number nine on my list is budget. Ghana can be a very budget friendly country depending on what you want to do. It can be very expensive as well. Ghana has variety and ranges for everything. Okay, if you want to live the cost effective way, it's possible. If you also want to live the high life, it's possible. 
but I, I believe once you travel here, every experience counts. So therefore, you should try and live like an ordinary Ghanaian. That means you should try and take public transport. You should also visit less expensive restaurants. In this way, I believe you will be able to live within your means or your budget. There is a niche for every social class. Trust me. If you come here and you want to live a high life, you'll be amazed at how fast your money will go. Likewise, if you visit and you want to really stick to a certain budget, that life is also available. It cuts across, okay? It's affordable for everyone. Last on my list is Ghana is the independent pioneer. Ghana was the first sub-Saharan African country to gain its independence in 1957. Under the guidance of our first president, Osajefo Dr. Kwame Nkrumah, we have national monuments to commemorate this achievement where the late first president stood to declare Ghana's independence, which is the Black Star Square or the Independence Square. We also have a whole museum dedicated to the first president of Ghana. In there you can see his tomb where he was buried and other historical items of his. And you can also learn about the history or the journey to independence. Alright, all too soon we've come to the end of another video. I hope you enjoyed this as much as I did and you learned a lot along the line. I hope this video will motivate you or give you a solid reason why you need to come to Ghana. We'll be looking forward to seeing you around. Don't forget to subscribe because I've got more of videos like this coming up. So meet again, my crown, I'm out.